Hi, and welcome to Top Dice News. My name's Aid, and this is the first of a regular set of uh, news programmes hopefully we'll running about the, uh, the tabletop uh, role-playing industry. Okay, uh, today it's uh, the 29th of March, 2024, and the main headline today is basically uh, around the sales of role-playing games from the last year. Now, this is a report from the USA and Canada rather than the UK, but it will reflect quite heavily upon us. So before we go any further, uh, please click subscribe to help us grow the channel and um, hopefully that will let you see many more of these uh, these news reports that we're going to be doing. Um, Chris and myself, uh, my normal co-host, will be joining uh, us in the future on this one. This is just a test one I'm doing uh, here for us today, though. OK, well, on with the news. Right, as I said, news headlines. It's been a, a bit of a disappointing uh, year as 2023 for uh, for the tabletop uh, industry. Uh, the hobby game sales in the US and Canada increased by just 1%, which was well below inflation levels. So overall, a decline. Now, these figures come from specialist stores and includes Kickstarter, but doesn't include direct sales, Amazon and such like. So there's a, a fair bit to be added on to there as well, I'm sure. Now, um, Top 10, we'll cover that first. So the top 10 games, RPG games from 2023, reported through this, through hobby stores, etc., was as follows. Number 10, Pirate Borg, which is quite an interesting uh, entry. Um, it was very popular and uh, will continue to be, I'm quite sure. Number nine, Call of Cthulhu by Coos Chaosium. Uh, not really a surprise. Quite surprised, I suppose, it's number nine. I thought it would have been higher. But uh, that's good to see there. Um, Cobalt Press 5th edition books. Uh, they came out with quite a few last year. So they came in at number eight. Number seven, bit of a shock for me. <clears throat> that was the Marvel Mul Multiverse RPG from Marvel itself. Um, I do know it was doing quite well, but I didn't realize it was doing quite well. So that came in at number seven bestseller. Number six, Cubicle 7's Warhammer 40K series. Um Again, this is a line they actually took over from another uh, uh, another producer in, of the games line, but that's doing exceedingly well for them. Number five, interestingly, is Starfinder from Paizo. Um, again, there's a new edition of this coming out, so I would have thought it would have actually had a bit of an effect on sales, but no, it's holding strong at number five there. Uh, number four, World of Darkness. So that's Vampire, Werewolf, and uh, similar games. Um, doing very well there at number four. Number three, interestingly again, is Cyberpunk Red from Talsorian Games. That's come on and leap, leaps and bounds, and it really does show the influence of, of cyberpunk and sci-fi, I think, in general on role-playing. Number two, Pathfinder. I suppose no real surprise there, and uh, no real surprise with the top one, which is D&D, &D, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition from Wizards of the Coast. However... Uh, as a word of note, actually, on that, um, there's been a 30% decline or thereabouts in sales of D&D &D reported in the past uh, 12 months. Um, reasons could include new edition coming out, which is uh, which is imminent uh, th this year. Um, people moving to try other games, which I think is a big factor. Um downturn due to the uh, huge lockdown boom that there was a couple of years ago and of course there's the switch by the company's increasing movements towards its digital agenda uh, and online presence so basically uh, D, D beyond etc which does not include the figures that we're looking at here now pathfinder was the big winner again it saw its uh, its sales leap quite a bit uh, in 2023 um basically it's the same following fourth edition release. Um, a lot of players seem to have headed its way. And, and I'm not surprised. I, it's not a game I play a great deal myself, but I can see the attraction actually sort of with it. And do you know what? I'm, I'm glad Paizo are getting something actually out of it. So there we go. Um, there's the top 10 of games from last year, as in sales-wise, plus some other information actually sort of for you. OK, moving on to another headline. 
and uh, fifth edition, we remain with that. Uh, Lost Cathans of uh, Sochikanth, that is um, a new free module on uh, D&D Beyond. It's just been, re been released actually on there, and it's part of uh, the, the big anniversary uh, scene is this one. Uh, it was a classic scenario back in the day, and uh, one of the S series uh, for AD and D. Um, I've run it myself a few times. It is really good. <clears throat> I've not had a glance yet to see what this new edition is actually sort of like, or what the new version is. But it's free. You can't say better than that. I will put a link to it down in uh, the comments below. In crowdfunding news, <clears throat> there have been quite a few uh, new uh, crowdfunding uh, projects that have been put out there. Um, one of the uh, big ones, I think, recently has been the Worlds of Gary Gygax um, World Builders uh, Archive, which has come out from Troll Lord Games. That's up at the moment, I think, with about 10 to 12 days actually on it. Um, it should be very good. Now, it's not cheap to get into. But it's, it's a good series of, uh, of books there. I owned quite a few of them back in the day. These are reprints, by the way, of uh, the Gary Gygax books that were released by uh, Troll Lord, all about uh, uh, thieves, uh, thieves' guilds and world building, um, again, for any fantasy games, not just fifth edition. So that's actually sort of out there and well worth a look. Um, in uh, other news, there's uh, a uh, crowdfunding release for Flabbergasted, which is the comedic role-playing game. Uh, and this one is mystified, so it's all about detective work and similar. Um, and I also believe that there's a new crowdfunder for uh, Zweihander as well, a new edition of that that's come out. Again, I'm not a big fan of this particular one, but I do know that there's quite a lot of interest. OK, well, I'm going to keep the news uh, short and sweet. Please click subscribe, as I asked earlier. Helps us grow this. <clears throat> Tell us what you think, actually, of this idea, whether you like it and uh, what format you'd like to sort of see it in. Thank you for your time and have a good week. And I'll be back next week with more. Take care. Bye bye.